I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about how to take care of bruised ribs. Now, ribs are open to injury because there's not a lot of ways to protect the ribs, especially if you're playing contact sports or have a fall. Football players may have some degree of padding, but the ribs are kind of our body's protection from the rest of the world. The stuff that's under them, the heart, the lungs, critical blood vessels, critical nerves, are the parts that we want to protect the most, and that's why we have a rib cage because this stuff needs protection. So the rib cage suffers the brunt of a lot that happens in the outside world. Now, depending on where the force comes to the ribs, several different sorts of injuries can occur. A bruise can occur anywhere along the ribs, usually toward the front or the side, sometimes uh, as a result of a fall or a punch. Uh, if you're feeling pain right here, chances are more likely that rather than a bruise, you have a rib that has separated from the cartilage. That's the softer tissue that connects the bones of the rib to the sternum, the bone of the chest. And 10 of your 12 ribs are connected in this sheet of cartilage. So pain right here is often associated with dislocation or inflammation of that cartilage. Also, you can get a fracture of the rib, and that usually occurs right in this area where they curve the very most, usually from lateral compression, a sort of forward-backward compression that pops them outward, and that's going to be intensely painful. To figure out what's going on, your doctor's going to want to do an exam, see where it hurts the most, see if it hurts more when you breathe in or out or move some part of your body. The one serious thing to consider is if you're having shortness of breath, you really need to get seen because a fractured rib may puncture the lining around the lung or the lung itself and allow air into the space between the lung and the chamber that holds the lung. That can be a life-threatening condition called pneumothorax and it may need to be treated with oxygen or even with a quick surgery. However, if you're confident that this is just a bruised rib, treatment is very conservative and consists of three things. One is anti-inflammatory medication, most commonly ibuprofen. Naproxen is another that's available over the counter, and there are a few others that you can use. Second is ice. You'll probably be advised to apply ice packs to the injured area every two or three hours or at least several times a day for up to the two or three weeks that it can take for a rib bruise to heal. Last uh, might be isolation or support for that area. There are braces or elastic compressors that can sort of give the ribs a little bit of support so that they don't move as much when you breathe and move and reduce the pain. That said, if you're using one of these devices, you probably are going to want to check with the doctor because if you don't breathe in deeply several times an hour, the lungs can actually sort of get a little squished in the air spaces. That can make it harder for air to get in and out of the lungs. So if you're using one of those devices, you might be using it with an exercise to make sure that you're taking deep enough breaths. So talking about treating bruised ribs, I'm Dr. David Hill.